there is a most asked question from the 1200 AC to till date. That if we ask for money to God, will God give us money? The answer is not straightforward, but let's see what Bible tells about it. Matthew 7 to 78 it has been mentioned, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Eight for everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. The basic explanation of this is, you need to ask for God what you want, and you should search after you pray to God, and take action after you pray to God. This is what the it explains, so if we ask to God and search and took action, will our goals be achieved? The answer is yes, but no. The answer is probabilistic because, in Romans 8.28, and a no, that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This means that God actually knows what is best for us. For example, now you may not have money and have not committed any bigger sins. But imagine you got the amount you prayed for, there might be situation that you will sin or any danger like theft or any bad things might happen. So God is protecting you. And we know that sin will definitely kill us. But there is another way to get what we want according to Bible. In Matthew 6, 17, 18, there is an verse mentioned that we will get rewarded for what we do. 17, but when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face. 18, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your father who is unseen. And your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. This verse proves us God will reward us. But do you know that you can get whatever you want just by following the Bible? And putting trust in God and doing good with what you have God. Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. He replied, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. If you closely understand this verse, you will tend to understand that by believing God, we can get whatever we want. Be cautious of doing wrong things and sinning with what God gives. And in this verse, Bible proves that doing good deeds will reward us. Into Corinthians 9 to 6, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. This verse says as indirectly, that if we tith without restrictions, we will get without any restrictions. As you may I make videos about Christianity, so subscribe to learn more daily.